A gun store break-in caught on camera. Why police say it's connected to another break-in just two miles away. And an officer hit by a vehicle on Highway 50 is still recovering in the hospital. What we now know about him and the driver who hit him. Plus, to all the moms out there, this day's for you. How people are spending it with their mother and remembering her. And what a beautiful day for Mother's Day. Sunshine and clouds. What's next? I'll have that forecast in a moment. But first, News 10, ABC 10 at 5 starts next. This is ABC 10 News at 5. I just backed right into the door, busted the door down. It was a mess when I got here. The damage is done, but that loot stayed safely locked up. Thieves failed to steal what they were looking for after backing that car into a gun store. This is one of two stores they attempted to break into. Police say these two break ins just miles apart are connected. ABC 10's Francis Wang shows us how it all unfolded. Surveillance video shows three masked suspects backing up their car to break down the front door. Then it shows them scrambling in the store for several minutes. What they didn't seem to know is that the guns weren't in these display cases. They were locked safely in a back storage room. And I thought, oh God, here we go. That's how Andrew Tonis reacted when his gun shop's alarm company woke him up around six on Sunday morning. They just backed right into the door, busted the door down. It was a mess when I got here. What he missed was all caught on camera. They started running through here trying to find guns, which they couldn't. They ran into the shop and they couldn't find anything, so they all ran back in here one at a time. This camera caught them trying to kick it in, beating the door handle, trying to get in. It would not budge. Had it budged, yeah. the thieves would have found the safes where all the guns are stored overnight. But Tonis, who's been the victim of a break-in before, uh, made sure his guns are theft-proof. Well, you can see where they hit it with a hammer, mm -hmm. tried to get in, but I mean, it's got dead bolts. It's a solid core door. Police say MTG firearms, the gun shop just down the street, had a similar storage system. No guns were stolen from either Elk Grove shop. This comes just a week after over 100 guns were taken from NorCal Vault in Rockland. For Tonis, this is a reminder to lock up your firearms, whether you sell them or just keep them at home. People need to have that right to defend themselves, but they have to do it safely. They have to store their weapons safely. So when they do get broke into at home, you, you hear about it all the time. People get broke into at home and get their guns stolen because they don't lock them up. That's the problem. In Elk Grove, Francis Wang, ABC 10 News. Thank you, Francis. And today's break-ins mark the fourth in less than a month where suspects attempted to burglarize a gun store in Northern California. On April 23rd, security footage caught a car backing into a series gun shop. The suspects took off with more than two dozen firearms. Then on May 1st, thieves crashed a car into the front door of a Rockland gun store, taking some guns and ammo with them. The car was later found in Emeryville. So far, no arrests have been made. New tonight, we now know the identity of the CHP officer hit by a vehicle on Highway 50 Saturday morning. Officer Vincent Smith is an 18 year veteran. He works with the CHP South Sacramento office. He is still in the hospital in very serious condition. His command staff and family are with him and the CHP says he still needs to have multiple surgeries. We'll have much more on Officer Smith tonight on ABC 10 News at 6. A lot of people rooting for him. Here's what we know so far in that case. CHP arrested a FedEx truck driver driver who they say hit an injured Officer Smith. CHP says Gregory Ramirez here on your screen was under the influence when he struck Smith, who was investigating a separate hit and run crash. Ramirez has been charged with felony DUI causing injury and possession of a controlled substance. That crash happened near the 15th Street exit, slowing traffic down for hours. Police are still looking for one of the drivers involved in that hit and run. Turning to weather right now as we take a live look at the cap the sun making a bit of a cameo on an otherwise gloomy and wet weekend. The question is, though, Harry, will we see more rain on the way later on this week? Just the opposite. We're going to see more sunshine later on this week as the weather's going to get better. We've got the showers moving out of here. They're moving eastward, and the skies have turned sunny today. A mixture of sun and clouds. This is we'd forecast it. Let's take a look outside. And I'll bring you up to date. Beautiful shot of downtown Sacramento, as you can see. Still some high clouds out there, 
but the temperatures are warmer. Yesterday we were in the 60s and today in the low to mid 70s all up and down the valley. Lake Tahoe has warmed up to 60. I think they were about 45 yesterday at this time. So the temperatures are changing and they're going to continue to warm up a little bit over the next few days. Right now we have 71 degrees in Sacramento and a south southwest wind at six miles an hour. Quite pleasant. No pesky winds to worry about. Our low tonight about 53 and we'll warm up to about 79 tomorrow afternoon and could 80s be far away. I'll have that forecast in just a few moments. Looking forward to it. Thanks, Harry. And other top stories we're following in Fair Oaks Sheriff's deputies are investigating a homicide. It happened late last night along Fair Oaks Boulevard near Sunrise. Sheriff's deputies say this all started when two cars were chasing each other. When officers arrived, they found a man shot inside a car. He later died at the hospital. The driver of that car was seen running away, but was later detained. No arrests have been made, though, and the victim's identity hasn't been released. In Rancho Cordova, a man is now behind bars after barricading himself inside an apartment with seven children inside. Rancho Cordova police say 34-year-old Dwayne Chandler was armed with an assault rifle and said he wanted to shoot people on the street and any deputies that tried to stop him. When officers arrived, he left in a car, barricading himself inside that apartment complex. He peacefully surrendered less than an hour later, but neighbors, some of them forced to evacuate, still shocked over what happened. It scares me that an assault rifle was in this neighborhood and I was parked right here where all the deputies were, that I could have been shot at some point. The children who range from four to 14 years old, they're all okay. Chandler has been charged for evading a police officer and a felony in possession of a firearm. Looking ahead now, anytime you're coming back from the Sierra, expect delays in Newcastle. Crews are closing down one lane of I-80 starting tomorrow night near the railroad bridge. Drivers can expect 30 to 45 minute delays during that morning commute, but on the weekends, pack your patience. It's going to be up to two hours of a delay is expected there. This work is part of a project to raise several I-80 overpasses to allow big trucks to move under them. Work will go on until May 26th. And in your voice, your vote, Bernie Sanders is coming to Sacramento tomorrow. The Vermont Senator also planning on holding a rally in Stockton on Tuesday. He will be holding that rally Monday night at Bonnie Field. Doors open at 5 o'clock. Then on Tuesday, Sanders will hold another rally at Stockton's Weaver Point Event Center. Doors open at 7 a.m. The Clinton campaign also says it's very possible they will visit the Sacramento region uh, next month. They will open an office in San Francisco tomorrow. They plan on opening a Sacramento office in the next 10 days. Meanwhile, Hillary Clinton was in Los Angeles attending Loyola Marymount University's graduation. Former President Bill Clinton's nephew was graduating. Hillary wrapped up her visit to Oakland on Saturday and a potential Trump versus Clinton matchup is already getting nasty. I think he is a loose cannon and loose cannons tend to misfire. During an interview with CBS's Face the Nation on Friday, Clinton said she's been hearing from Republicans who want to support her campaign. And that divide in the Republican Party over presumptive nominee Donald Trump is growing. Coming up in the 6 o'clock hour, we'll hear from a prominent Republican right here in Sacramento about why he's asking Republicans to vote for Clinton. Meanwhile, Donald Trump, of course, is not happy at Republicans who won't support him for president. House Speaker Paul Ryan is refusing to endorse Trump. During a one on one interview with ABC's George Stephanopoulos, Trump says that he has a message for Ryan. This is what the people want. Trump also downplayed downplayed the need for a unified Republican Party to become president. That it doesn't have to be. No, I don't think so. I thought it into tradition because I think I'm going to go out and I'm going to get millions of people from the Democrats. I'm going to get Bernie people to vote. Trump also says he's making changes to his tax plan. He now says taxes on the wealthy could go up if he's elected president. He plans to meet with Paul Ryan in D.C. this weekend. Turning to local elections, be sure to join us on Monday for the Sacramento mayoral debate. ABC is partnering with the Sacramento Bee, Capital Public Radio, and Sacramento State. It's happening tomorrow starting at 3 p.m. We're coming up in a historic trip. Well, it comes to an end. Hundreds of passengers now back on American soil after a week-long cruise to Cuba. How the lifting of a travel ban has helped boost business for the island country. Plus, thinking about buying a home but have a lot of student debt, what you can do to still make that American dream a reality.
Across America now, parts of northeast Colorado in recovery mode today. After this video capturing multiple tornadoes touching down, officials say there were more than a dozen reported tornadoes causing damage to some homes and businesses. These funnel clouds moved across the town of Ray, about 170 miles east of Denver. It's just some crazy images. Forecasters say more severe thunderstorms are expected today. And north of the border, a massive wildfire continues to spread across Alberta, Canada. Officials say they evacuated everyone living in that fire zone. That fire broke out a week ago near Fort McMurray, about 400 miles north of Calgary. The devastating fire brought the Alberta premier to tears. This is Mother's Day. I'm hoping in all of this crisis to spend a few minutes today with my own children. That not all of us can do that is definitely an awful tragedy. The good news, the fire is now moving away from populated areas. Amazingly, tens of thousands who were in danger appear to be okay. Well, after a historic trip to Cuba, hundreds of people who took a cruise to the island nation are back on American soil. The ship docked in Miami early this morning. It marks the first time in 50 years an American cruise ship made its way to Cuba. But while their arrival to Cuba was welcomed, the trip back well, not so great for a few travelers. Carnival says at least 14 passengers got sick. Uh oh, that's never good, especially on a boat. Well, ever since the travel embargo was lifted, the number of people visiting Cuba has nearly doubled to your money. A headline someone in New Jersey woke up a multimillionaire on Mother's Day. The jackpot climbing to nearly 430 million. The winner has not been identified. If you didn't win, don't worry. You can play again on Wednesday. The odds of winning only one in 292 million. But if you did play on Saturday, here are those winning numbers that you do not have. 5, 25, <laughs> 26, 44, 66. I guess they might have some Maybe of them. Maybe they matched a few. Yeah, and the Powerball is nine. We can always dream. Yeah. Well, if you're looking to buy a home, student loan debt shouldn't stop you from achieving the American dream. For one, lower any other debt you have, like credit card and car loan lenders. Lenders typically look at your income, savings, credit score, and monthly debt to income ratio. To lower that with your student loans, consider refinancing or switching to an income driven plan. Lenders are more concerned with your monthly payment. Also be sure you're on time with those payments and save for a down payment and those closing costs. Do not forget about those closing costs are about two to 5% of the home's price. And to get more money tips and ways to save, just head over to abc10.com and click on the real money tab. Meanwhile, happy Mother's Day. Some new mothers getting the star treatment at Sutter Medical Center. They deserve it. How the hospital is celebrating Mother's Day, honoring new moms, giving the gift of life. Still some lingering showers in the Sierra Nevada, but our weather is looking a lot brighter and nicer. I'll have your forecast for the coming week next. Today is Mother's Day. I hope you're having a happy one. And mothers and grandmothers took a tour of gardens in East Sacramento today. It's the 18th annual East Sacramento Garden Tour set up in the Fab 40s. People checked out all the greenery and even some arts and crafts. Proceeds benefit David Lubin's elementary school. And some moms giving the gift of life at Sutter Medical Center. New moms welcoming their child into the world. One of those moms, Mariah, met her new daughter, Siri. Six pounds, four ounces, peacefully sleeping in Mariah's arms, and Mariah says the timing couldn't be better. You know, if she was born any later, I wouldn't be able to celebrate Mother's Day today, so it's really special for me. The hospital says they're experiencing a baby boom since Sutter moved into their new location last August. More than 5,000 new babies have been born. I have to think that for moms, that has to just be such a special yeah. gift uh, for them, especially having their baby. And they'll on never Mother's forget their Day. birthday, it's always on Mother's Day. <laughs> you can remember. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. It's very sweet. Nothing sweeter than a little baby for a newborn baby. Our weather is pretty sweet today, too. It turned out pretty nicely, didn't it, for Mother's Day? We got rid of most of the showers. There's still a little bit of activity up in the mountains. Let's see what's going on. We've got some moisture that's uh, cascading out of Nevada down into the central Sierra Nevada. A few showers down near Yosemite Park, but for the most part, the shower activity has moved eastward in our weather. 
weather's gotten a lot better. We've got sunshine out there and a few clouds, just as we expected. And the temperatures, well, they're quite comfortable and a little bit warmer than yesterday. Instead of 60s, we have low to mid 70s up and down the valley. 60 degrees up at South Lake Tahoe. They were in the 40s at this time yesterday. So a, a definite change for the better. 71 right now in Sacramento. Wind at about 6 miles an hour. Barometers falling just a little bit. And the forecast for tomorrow, 53 the low, 79 the high tomorrow. So yet a little bit warmer. Nice weather, I think, coming up for the balance of the week. It's going to be warming up gradually. And some dark clouds from earlier today uh, from down in Stockton. But things have cleared up down there now, now and it's looking much better. We'd love to have your weather picture. Send it into weatherforce at abc10.com and we'd like to put it on the air. Here's the satellite picture and you can see a storm way out here in the Pacific and the system that had been impacting us has shifted eastward. The low pressure area is centered over here near Utah and Colorado and it was back in this area yesterday circulating the moisture right into northern California. So that's all shifted eastward and with that our weather's going to get better for the next several days. A lot more sunshine. Of course, unless you like it raining and actually the rain wasn't all that bad. It was kind of nice. Uh, I remember yesterday morning and uh, nice gentle rain coming down. Not bad at all. Now the foothills tomorrow, no rain. We're talking about sunshine for the most part, mostly sunny skies. Highs mostly in the 60s, some low 70s at, at the lower elevations and some nice weather in the Sierra Nevada the next several days. Plenty of sunshine, highs in the Tahoe area warming up into the upper 60s by the end of the week. Not bad. Now along the coast, we're going to see 60s coming into the 70s as you come inland around the Bay Area. We're going to see some readings in the upper 70s and low 80s in the San Joaquin Valley tomorrow and mostly upper 70s, some 80s maybe here and there tomorrow in the Sacramento Valley. So some good weather ahead. The extended forecast is looking pretty good as well. Whoops, we're going through the zone forecast again. Oh, well. We'll punch through that. The extended forecast, just trust me, is going to show some 80s uh, for this coming week and some comfortable weather, plenty of sunshine for us, not bad weather at all. And I can't believe that I repeated the zone forecast in there. My mistake. So good, we had to see it again. Yeah, there you go. You had to. It's great weather ahead. There it is. Gosh, you're very good at recovering this stuff. Plenty of sunshine ahead. We're uh, we're headed for some good weather this week. Enjoy. Almost almost feeling like summer now. Yeah, not quite, but yeah, not bad at all. It's your gift to all the mothers out yes, there. That's that going to be a great that, week coming oh, up. Oh yes, Harry's gift. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks, that. Harry. Well, to all the mothers out there, this is the day for you. How all of you are spending time with mom or honoring her memory. But first, what's ahead on World News Tonight? Emily and Ryan, good evening. Coming up on World News Tonight, incredible images of twisters touching down tonight. Seven million people in the threat zone. Also, Donald Trump telling GOP leaders to get in or get out as he gets personal with Bill Clinton. And why you should be careful if you use your cell phone to call 911. That's after ABC 10 News at 5. Well, welcome back. The smallest planet in our solar system will make a rare trip between the Earth and Sun tomorrow. Mercury will cross in front of the Sun. It is the first time this has happened since 2006 because staring directly into the Sun isn't great for your eyes. NASA says people will need to use a telescope or a high power binoculars with a special filter. So don't look into the Sun. It will be visible around four in the morning. But once mm. again, don't look at this and we won't Early. be up. Yeah, I'm not going to be up so <laughs> <Not me> either. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And today for all of is for all you awesome moms mm. out there. We know that it is Mother's Day as we wrap up ABC 10 News at 5. We are wishing everyone a very, very happy Mother's Day and a lot of you sharing with us how you are celebrating this day with mom or even remembering mom. Today is also for those who no longer have mom around. You can always share your pictures with us. We'd love to see more of your Mother's Day pictures on our Facebook and Twitter pages. And here at ABC 10, we are giving a special shout out to our awesome moms. Here's me with mine. That's Barb. Up in the mountains. Yeah, That's when out. she was visiting. We went up to Tahoe and we had a beautiful day and beautiful time. And um, we share the same middle name, Jean. So oh. she's Barbara Jean and I'm Emily Jean. We all love there Barb here. Yeah. Love Barb. Hi, Mom in Missouri. I'm, she might be watching. She's always watching. <laughs> and moving on, this is uh, me and my mom. This is my mom, Mitzi. This is a picture that we took a couple of years ago when we were uh, touring Japan 
Uh, they oh, they wow. took us along on, on a parents and uh, son, uh, uh, parents and sons trip, should I say? What trip were you on? What yeah, Japan? What, what area of Japan? Uh, we were in Tokyo, right here. Okay. Oh, but how cool! I, I apologize to my dad. I actually cropped him out of this photo. So. Poor dad. <laughs> yeah, so poor dad. Dad, we'll bring you back in for Father's Day. Well, you'll crop the opposite way yeah, for exactly. Father's Day. And here's Frances Wang with her mom. You can see they are looking very cute and sassy yeah. there. I love that. With her, Frances, with her USC pride there. Yes, she, yes, she is. And our producer wanting to wish. His mom, a happy Mother's Day. That is, of course, Tim and his mother. And happy Mother's Day to everyone out there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the, the afternoon weather. It was a beautiful time. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I saw a lot of people out having brunch and a great... I was jealous. And my wife uh, and my boys uh, celebrated uh, Mom's Day with the sushi, which is what she wanted. Oh, oh and wonderful. Watching, That's uh, delicious. The NBA you didn't finals. want to give us a picture? Watching basketball. <laughs> I didn't know we were showing pictures. <laughs> show and tell. But the rest of the week, so and we're going to see in 80s uh, the rest of the week. Yeah, story. it's going to be great. It's going to be sunny. It's going to be nice. It's going to be a comfortable week. If you have a couple days off, it's a great time to get out and do something outdoors. Enjoy the weather. All right. Thanks, Harry. That's it for us. We'll see you tonight at six o'clock.